and welcome to Rebound. Six contestants are about to battle it out for the chance to win thousands of pounds. But if taking on each other isn't quite tough enough, they'll also have to take on this, the Rebound Bar. Our players need to answer correctly to rebound the bar back at their opponents and attempt to put them out of the game. Let's see who's stepping up to the bar today. Hi, I'm Jeremy. I'm a client services advisor from Basingstoke. Hi, I'm Donna. I'm an upholsterer and I'm from Buckinghamshire. Hi, I'm Harriet. I'm a transport planner from London. Hi, I'm Danny. I'm a trainee lawyer from Surrey. Hi, I'm Carol. I'm a primary school teacher from Dudley. Hi, I'm Rob and I'm an advertising creative from Hertfordshire. Welcome all of you and good luck. Let's kick things off with round one. It's fast cash. Now, this round is all about our players boosting their bank balance. Every question is worth a £1,000. They'll have the time it takes for the bar to rebound back along the runway to lock in their answer. The faster they answer, the more money they'll earn. There's a total of £3,000 each up for grabs. Whoever banks the most will have the advantage in the next round. Get ready to make some fast cash. Start the bar. On a classic London Monopoly board, which of these is the cheapest to buy? Here comes the rebound. Bow Street, Pentonville Road, Whitehall or Fleet Street? We're looking for the cheapest one of those on a Monopoly board. You're all locked in very, very quickly. Which means if you get it right, you could get a lot of cash. Let's see what you chose. Danny, you went for uh, Bow Street. Mm -hmm. Happy with that? I think so. I was trying to... Uh think of what each of the streets were known for and Whitehall and Fleet Streets I imagine would be more expensive so I just, yeah I was quite happy with Bow Street. Hey you thought through this quite <laughs> <Why>, clearly. <laughs> Donna have you thought through this? Uh, you picked Pentonville Road. I was trying to think of the colours because I think it's the brown ones that were the cheapest and so I was, I don't know I could have remembered it long. It's a long time since I played Monopoly. Well let's see what the correct answer is. It is Pentonville Road. Well done to Donna and Jeremy. You both got it right. How fast were you and how much cash did you bank? Ooh. Well done, Donna. You were the quickest with £917. <laughs> that is super quick and it's a lot of money you've banked. Next question. Start the bar. Which of these deserts has the largest area? Here comes that rebound. Kalahari, Gobi, Sahara or Arabia? All large deserts, but we're looking for the biggest one in terms of area. You've locked in your answers. Let's see what you chose. A lot of agreement uh, there, ooh. but Rob, you're on your own. Yeah, let's with Arabia. Arabia. Yeah. Talk us through your logic with Arabian. I thought Sahara way too obvious, and these lot fell for it, unfortunately. <laughs> so uh, <laughs> we'll just have to see when the answer comes up. <laughs> They're a bunch just, of losers, aren't they? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> we'll wait and see. <laughs> it is. It is C, it's the Sahara oh. Desert. But how fast were you guys, and how much cash did you bank? Well done to Jeremy, £840 banked, you were the fastest. This is our last question in Fast Cash, your last chance to bank some cash here. Start the bar. Which of these Shakespeare plays is the longest? Get ready for that rebound. The Tempest, Hamlet, Richard III, The Merchant of Venice. We're looking for the longest play out of those four. Let's see what you're locked in. Harriet, yeah. The Merchant of Venice. You know well, your Shakespeare plays? Vaguely. Um, I remember at school I read The Tempest. Um, I've seen Richard III years ago. Um, to me, they're all kind of the same length, though. Um, so I remember as well reading Merchant of Venice a while back. So I went with that. Jeremy, you went for The Tempest. I hate Shakespeare with a passion. <laughs> Every Shakespeare play seems way too long to me. You don't deserve to get this right, do you? <laughs> Shakespeare's looking down on us. <laughs> Let's take a look at the answer. It is Hamlet. So none of you got oh, it wow. right. <laughs> Uh, Hamlet has 4,024 lines, would you believe it? You're not going to forget that now, are you? <laughs> you all missed out on banking cash. That was our last question in our first fast cash. So it's a good time to look at the leaderboard and see how you're all getting on. Rob, you haven't got any money. Come on now, Rob. There are plenty of chances for you to steal their cash. Uh, Harriet, you're in third place. Donna, you're in second place. Jeremy, you're out in front with £1,738. You're in the lead as we head into our next round. 
Get set for battle. It's time to go head to head. In this round, each player will go one on one against each other, answering questions to stop the bar from hitting them. Get a question right, and the bar rebounds hard and fast back at their opponent. Get it wrong or answer too slowly, and their opponent wins, stealing all their money and knocking them out of the game. Only three players will survive. Jeremy, you earn the most in fast cash with £1,738, so you get to play first. Come and join me. Now, Jeremy, you get people on speed awareness courses, don't you? I do, I do, yes. You're going to have to be in the fast lane. Is I'm that not, going to be doable? I mean, I'm in pole position right now, I think. I'm, yeah. I'm give us a good yeah. starting point. There's a long way to go, though, Jeremy. It is. Now, the first thing you need to do is pick your opponent in our first head-to-head. -head. I'm going to give you a bit of help, though. I'm going to show you the leaderboard, because you can steal their cash. So here it is. Quite a bit of cash there to steal. Mm -hmm. Are you greedy or guarded? Are you going to go for someone with a lot of cash or someone with no cash? I mean, Rob, who hasn't won anything yet. I'm going to go for Harriet, I think. Why? Um, I just think she's got a good score there, and I think the, the money will, 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 will look nice on my side of the balance, I think. You think she's easy to beat, don't you? I, I, I don't know. <laughs> He's not sure, but reading between the lines, he thinks he's going to thrash you. Uh, I think you read the lines wrong, Jeremy. <laughs> I think you're going to regret this one, but we'll give it a go. Harriet and Jeremy step up to the bar. Now, Jeremy, as you won the most in fast cash, you get to choose the first category. You're in control of the game. It's a great start for you. What are you going to choose? Addition or division? I'm going to go with division. Are you a mathematician? I'm not too bad at maths. Not too bad at maths. Harriet, how's your maths? I really don't want to make Jeremy feel good about this, but my maths is not my strongest point. You're going to see some division sums. Just give me the right answer. You each have three lives. Remember, if you lose those lives, you are going home. You can only answer the question when the bar is in your half. Harriet, the bar will be heading to you. Here's your first sum. Start the bar. 35. Five. Three. Five. Seven. Ten. Eleven. Fifteen. Hundred eleven. Twenty. 15. 29. 29. What a rally. Oh. <laughs> Don't know your 29 times table? Uh, can't say I do. I'll brush up on that one for hey, next time. You did really well, given that you said you weren't good at maths. But you're down to two lives, Harriet. Yeah. Lose all your lives, you're out of the game. Yeah. Jeremy, you get to choose the next category. What's it going to be? Team GB 2012 or World Cup 2014 teams? I'm going to go World Cup 2014 teams. Do you like your football? I do. This could be a good one for you then. Harriet? I was really hoping Jeremy would say Team GB. I <laughs> love the Olympics. <laughs> <laughs> Up will flash images of the national football teams that competed in the 2014 World Cup. All you have to do is tell me which country each represents. You now have two lives, Harriet. You still have three, Jeremy. Remember, you can only answer the question when the bar is in your half. Once again, the bar will be heading to you, Harriet. Here's your first team. Start the bar. England. Brazil. Germany. Spain. It's Argentina. Oh. Harriet, you're down to one life. I know. Jeremy, you're romping through this mm -hmm. pretty quick. It's not over yet. What are you going to choose next? UK number ones or units of currency? I'm going to go with units of currency. Okay. Would you have chosen that, Harriet? No, I wouldn't have. <laughs> one life. You lose it, you're going home. Yeah. This is your chance. Okay. Up will flash a country. You just have to tell me the name of the official currency for that country. Simple. You have one life, Harriet. You still have three lives, Jeremy. Once again, the bar will be heading to you, Harriet, first. Here's your first country. Start the bar. Pound, pound sterling. Dollar. Rupee. Euro. The... Oh... The rand. Oh, the rand. The rand. You're out, Harriet. Your stay on rebound has been short, I'm afraid. It You've has. lost your last life. You came into this with £806. All that goes across to Jeremy, who now has a pretty big total, Jeremy. £2,544. Well done. We're going to see you in the next round. Harriet, I'm afraid you've been beaten by the bar. Donna, with £1,575, you'll be playing next. Come and join me.
Now, Donna, I hear you do quite a lot for your community. I try. Giving a lot of time and effort to other people. Yes, I became a parish councillor early in the year, and I'm a chairperson for our village show, which we started last year. And I'm also on the committee for our community association. Hey, that all sounds wonderful, but those aren't qualities that will get you far on rebound. You never know. And you need to beat your next opponent. Mm -hmm. And you get to choose them. Let's have a look. And we're going to show you the leaderboard because you could steal their cash. Rob, Danny and Carol, varying amounts of cash. Have a think. But don't tell me now. Find out who's playing next after this. <laughs> to rebound. Before the break, Jeremy won our first head-to-head, -head, but who'll join him in the next round? Right, Donna, you've had a chance to think about things. Are you going to go for someone with a lot of cash or with no cash? <laughs> That's I, the choice. I think I'm going to go for Carol. I think it's time for the girls. Bring on the girls. Carol and Donna step up to the bar. Well, Donna, you're in control of this game. You get to choose the first category. What's it going to be? Weights and measures or fabric? I think I'll go for fabric. And I think I know why. <laughs> What's your job? I do upholstery. <laughs> ah, so you could be good in this one, couldn't you? Maybe. Does that scare you at all, Carol? No, I like sewing. Ah. I make my own curtains and blinds and things like that. We could have a game on our hands here. You're about to see some anagrams of different types of fabric. All I need you to do is solve them. You each have three lives. Lose those lives and you're going home. You can only answer the question when the bar is in your half. To start with, the bar will be heading to you, Carol. Here's your first fabric. Start the bar. Cotton. Wool. Silk. Denim. It stitched you up, didn't it? It did. <laughs> that was meant to be a strong point. I know. You've lost a life. You're down to two lives now. Lose those, you're out mm. of the game. Carol, you're smiling now. Yes, I am. <laughs> and you get to choose the next category. What okay. will it be? World leaders or national parks? Um, world leaders. Why is that? I watch a lot of the news, read the newspapers, so I think perhaps that's my strongest category out of those two. You're a political animal? <laughs> uh, not really, but I'll give it a go. We're about to find out. Donna, would you have chosen that? Uh, both were as bad as each other. <laughs> Who knows what will happen now? <laughs> yeah, but you said you wanted fabric and you didn't do so well. You're going to see the names of some world leaders, past and present. What you have to do is tell me which country they represented. You can only answer the question when the bar is in your half. This time, the bar will be heading to you, Donna, first. Here's your world leader. Start the bar. America. India. Russia. Germany. France. South Africa. Cuba. Italy. Japan. Israel. Israel. Carol, you lose a life. You're down to two lives. So are you, Donna, but you're in control. What's the next category going to be? Famous dads or musicals? I'll go famous dads. Why? I like both of them. I'll give it a shot. Would that have been your choice? I would have preferred musicals. You like your musicals, I do like you? I like music, yes, I'm into musicals. But it's famous dads, I'm afraid. Okay. Up will flash, some celebrity names. I want you to tell me who their famous fathers are and I will accept just their first names. You can only answer the question when the bar is in your half. This time, Carol, the bar will be heading to you first. Here's your first dad. Start the bar. Paul McCartney. Kirk. Barack Obama. Richard. Hillary. Hillary it's Clinton. Bill. Oh, dad. We're not talking about mums. Oh, Hard luck, Carol. You lose another life. You're down to one. Lose that life and you are going home. Donna, you're in control again. You've got two lives. What are you going to choose next? Abba songs or Scorsese movies? Ooh, well, I like both. It's just how much I can remember of both. And I've never seen Mamma Mia, I'm ashamed to say. <laughs> um, Boogie around to an ABBA song? I have done. And as much as I love the movies, I think I'll take a chance on ABBA. Don't give too many away. <laughs> Carol, do you like ABBA songs? Yes, I love ABBA. Could be a game here. Yeah. You're about to see the titles of ABBA songs. Each title will have a word blanked out. You just have to fill in the missing word. 
Carol, you are now down to one life. Donna, you still have two lives. To start with, Carol, the bar will be heading to you. Here's your first ABBA song. Start the bar. Dancing. You. Music. Chance. Winner. Trooper. Mama. It's mother, not uh. mama. Hard luck, Carol. You're out. You've lost your last life. You're going home. And it gets worse for you because all your cash goes over to Donna. So you had £799. That all goes across. Donna, you now have banked £2,374. Well done. We'll see you in the next round. Carol, you've been beaten by the bar. So, Danny and Rob, that leaves you to battle it out for that last spot. Step up to the bar. Well, Danny, you banked the most cash with £729 out of the two of you, so you're in control of the game. You get to choose the first category. What will it be? Lovely. Sports champs or capital cities? Rob looks like a man who knows sports champs. <laughs> Not so sure about capital cities, so I'm going to go with capital cities, please. Okay. See what your thinking is. Rob, capital cities. Fun by me. Bring it on. Let's go. <laughs> You're about to see some anagrams of capital cities from around the world. All I need you to do is solve them. You each have three lives. Lose those lives and you are going home. You can only answer the question when the bar is in your half. Rob, the bar will head to you first. Here's your capital city. Start the bar. Paris. Rome. London. Berlin. Dublin. Oslo. Bangkok. Moscow. Rubles. Brussels. Brussels. It doesn't look like rubles. I was like, got to say something. <laughs> you said something and it was wrong and you're down to two lives. Danny, you still have three lives. And so you get to choose the next category. What will it be? Superheroes. Or stage names? I think I'll go superheroes, please, Sean. What's the thinking here? Uh, I've seen some superhero films with my girlfriend, and I'm not really sure whether... I, I, I'm stereotyping Rob horribly, but <laughs> it, I, 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 think, I don't think he's... I'm doing the same him. thing. <laughs> you definitely know more superheroes than me, and I don't believe you've got a girlfriend. <laughs> <laughs> Can't just take that. Uh, Give I'm, it back to him. <laughs> Danny is speechless. So, I, I am. I'm, so, I'm, I'm, I'm sorry. I'm sorry, Debbie. I can confirm you do exist. <laughs> so you have got a girlfriend called Debbie. I, I, I have indeed. Yes. We need to talk about that another time. Up will flash the alter egos of some well-known superheroes. All you have to do is tell me which superhero they are. You have two lives, Rob. You have three lives, Danny. The bar once again will be heading to you, Rob. Mm -hmm. Here's your first superhero. Start the bar. Batman. Superman. Spider-Man. The Hulk. <sighs> Iron Man. I've you didn't yeah. know the first one, though, and you no, guessed I it. Thought, yeah, there's only about five that I'd have known. It's really not my bag, <laughs> unfortunately. Hey, Danny, you're in control of the game. You get to choose the next category. What will it be? London tube stations or comedy movies? <sighs> Quick look across. I'm, I'm what do you think? Glad you I'm not against Harriet for this one, but uh, I think I think I'll go comedy movies, please, Sean. Okay. Why? Because I don't I don't live in London or near London. I get lost trying to use the tube every time I'm here. So it's probably best not to rely on that knowledge too much. You're shaking just, your head. It just shows, you know, having the power works because all three of these I'd have gone the other way. I work in London every day. I get the tube every day. I like comedy movies, but I would have, um, I'd have gone with tube stations. Well, I'm afraid you haven't got the power. You can't choose. It's going to be comedy movies, and you're about to see the title of some comedy movies. Each title has a word missing. Just fill in the blanks. Rob, you're down to one life. Lose that life. Mm -hmm. You are going home. Is that clear? Very clear. Danny, you've got three lives. You can only answer the question when the bar is in your half. The bar will be heading to you first, Rob. Here's your first comedy movie. Start the bar. Hot. Double. Mary. Trains. Tap. Brian. Ace. World. 
Monty. Wonder. Oh, souls. Coronets. Yeah. Monty as well. <laughs> you got it in time, yeah. but not that time. It means you're out. You've lost your last life. You're going home, Rob. Yeah. I was going to say it makes it harder because you have to give all your money over, but you don't have any money. I had tactics and, you know, he gets nothing, which makes me feel good. A lawyer getting nothing feels good. <laughs> Danny, Sorry. we'll see you in the next round. Thank you. Rob, you've been beaten by the bar. So three players remain, Jeremy, Danny and Donna, but who will take that one step closer to the final? Find out after the break. Welcome back to Rebound. Jeremy, Donna and Danny have fought off the competition, but only one of them can make it into the final. But first, let's boost those bank balances with more fast cash. Once again, every question is worth £1,000, but this time there's a total of £5,000 each up for grabs. The player who banks the most will have an advantage in the next round. Fingers at the ready. Start the bar. Which of these tennis players has won the most Wimbledon singles titles? Here comes that rebound. Maria Sharapova, Sefi Graf, Venus Williams or Billie Jean King. We're looking for the player who's won the most Wimbledon singles titles. You all locked in really quick. You know how this works in fast cash. You get it right and quick. You bank a lot of cash. Let's see what you locked in. Ooh, a mix. You can't all be right. Danny, you went for Maria Sharapova? I did. How many uh, do you think she's won? I... Six, twelve, 108. I haven't the faintest <laughs> idea, Sean. <laughs> you were just about to try and blag it there. <laughs> <laughs> if I'd said a number and it would have been right, it was right, I would have just... Yep, yep, knew that. <laughs> <laughs> Jeremy, Sophie Graf? I remember her winning a lot of titles in the early 90s, and I'm hoping she won more than everyone else. Uh, and Donna, you went for Venus Williams. Do you watch tennis? No, can't stand it. I find it very... They like automatons now. It's, there's no character for me. But I think she she wins a lot. She's like a powerhouse. Let's reveal the answer. It is Steffi Graf. Well done, Jeremy. You've got it right. Let's see how fast you earn, how much cash you banked. £618. Well done. On with the next question. Start the bar. Which of these social media sites launched first? Here comes the rebound. Facebook, YouTube, MySpace, or Bebo? We're looking for the social media site which launched first out of those four. You're all locked in. Let's see what you chose. MySpace is popular. Donna? You're yeah, I, I used to quit my face because I used to get it wrong all the time. My kids <laughs> love that. <laughs> uh, and I vaguely think that came just slightly before. And Danny, you disagree. I do. My instinct was to go for MySpace or Bebo, but I have this feeling that Facebook was around and very, very small for a lot longer, so I, just, so I thought I'd take a punt on that. Let's reveal the answer. It is MySpace. So well done to Donna and Jeremy. You got it right. But who was fastest and who banked the most amount of cash? Jeremy, Ooh. once again, £668. <laughs> and you just got it <laughs> by a whisker. £3 ahead of Donna, but you both banked a good amount of cash. Well done. MySpace was launched in 2003. Next question. Start the bar. Of these musicians, who has won the most Grammys? The bar's going to rebound. Eric Clapton, Tony Bennett, Kanye West, or Lionel Richie. Who has won the most Grammys out of those four? Let's see what you locked in. Lionel Richie, Jeremy. You yeah. listen, a bit, listen to a bit of Lionel Richie? I can't say I'm a great fan of Dancing on the Moonlight. Or was it Dancing on the Ceiling? Wasn't it? Dancing on the Ceiling. No, I, I, I'm less of a fan of Kanye West. And it was a case of less of the, less of the worst evils on that one, really. It was just... But it's not about who you support and who you follow and who you listen to. It's about who's won the most Grammys. Donna. Tony Bennett. Well, he's been around longer, so he's had the chance to get a few more, hasn't he? <laughs> Let's see what the correct answer is. It's Kanye West. Ooh. So Ooh. you've all missed out on the chance <laughs> wow. to get money in that round. Kanye West has won 21 Grammys, would you believe it? Tony wow. Bennett, 17. Man, a Richie, four. <laughs> oh. On with the next question. Let's see if you can bank some cash. Start the bar. Which of these fashion houses is the oldest? 
The ball will rebound now. Dior, Chanel, Yves Saint Laurent, or Givenchy. We're looking for the oldest fashion house out of those four. You all locked in quickly, but what did you choose? Donna, you went for Dior? Yeah, um, it's a tricky one because afterwards I thought, oh, was it Givenchy? Um, I have no idea when they all started. They're all so famous. Hopefully, Dior's a classic. Jeremy, fashion your forte? Clearly. <laughs> <laughs> um, <laughs> when, when the question came up, I was thinking, go for the French answer. And they were all French. <laughs> <laughs> Didn't help me. The correct answer is... It's Chanel. Coco Chanel began in 1909, so you all got it wrong. You all missed the chance to bank some cash. This is your last chance to build up those cash reserves. Start the bar. Which of these animals is the most endangered, according to the WWF? Here's the rebound. Sumatran elephant, Sumatran orangutan, mountain gorilla, or the black rhino? Which is the most endangered, according to the WWF? You're locked in. Let's see what you chose. All in agreement with Black Rhino. Why is that, Donna? Um, yeah, I've watched quite a few nature programmes, and actually I was umming and I was it the right rhino, and I was questioning myself, wasting time, so I thought, just go for it. Danny? I'm trying to think of the animal I've seen most often on uh, posters on the tube, asking for donations, and I, I think I've seen the rhino more than any of the others, so <laughs> that's my logic. Let's see what the correct answer is. It's a mountain gorilla. <laughs> so you're all wrong. You're all missed out again on banking no some cash. That's the end of Fast Cash then. Your last chance is gone. But let's see how you all got on. Here's the leaderboard. Danny, you're in third place with £729. Donna, £3,039. But Jeremy, you're out in front. £3,830. Well done to you. You're in the lead as we head into the next round. But remember, only one of them can make it into the rebound final. And we're about to find out who. Let's play Stop the Bar. In this round, Jeremy, Donna and Danny each have their own bar. Each player's bar is determined to reach them and knock them out of the game. It's a race against time, so they'll need to think fast and lock in the correct answer as quickly as possible to stop their bar and stay in the game. Each time a player gives a wrong answer, their bar will move three seconds closer to them. Starting positions will be determined by how much money they've banked so far. Set the bars. Danny, because you banked the least amount of money so far, your bar is starting six seconds closer to you here. Donna, you're in second place, so your bar is starting three seconds closer to you. And Jeremy, you've banked the most so far, so this means you have the advantage of the full length of the runway to stop the bar. This is the decider. Good luck. Which of these is the correct answer? Woodstock, Glastonbury, or best of all? Start the bars. You all locked in quickly. Let's see what you chose. All in agreement with Woodstock. Danny? Yeah, I couldn't, I couldn't imagine he'd have a psychic called Glastonbury. So, would start seem like a good idea as any. Yeah, we were looking for the name of Snoopy's sidekick in the Peanuts cartoon. Jeremy, confident with that? Yeah, I think so. I think so. Okay, let's see what the correct answer is. It is Woodstock. So you're all safe for the time being. Remember, you need to lock in your answers quickly so you don't lose much time on the runway. At the moment, Danny, you're in the most amount of trouble. But there's plenty of time to catch up. Which of these is the correct answer? Switzerland, Austria, or Germany? Start the bars. Very quick locking in. Well done, all of you. We were looking for in which modern day country is Albert Einstein's birthplace. Here's what you locked in. All in agreement again. Donna, Austria. Yeah, I think pretty confident about that one. You sure? Yeah. Really sure? Don't make me doubt myself. <laughs> it's too late. It is too late. Let's see what the correct answer is. It's Germany. Hello. Oh. You're too sure, weren't you? I was really sure. <laughs> Should have listened to me. I won't ever forget that. <laughs> <laughs> he was born in the German city of Ulm in 1879. Now, you were all wrong, so you know what that means. We're going to have to move your bars. So you get the idea now. Danny, mm. you don't want to have too many wrong answers because okay. you're behind. You're halfway down the runway, and we've had two questions. Another two, you could be going home. Next question. Which of these is the correct answer? Hat, scarf, or shoe? Start the bars. Took a bit longer locking in there. This is what you chose. 
We were looking for what item of clothing is a chipaya. Two of you gone for hats. Jeremy? Never heard of it. It could be a sausage, for all I know. <laughs> it's not a sausage. Uh, uh, Donna, you're in agreement with well, Jeremy. Well, French for chapeau, so it seems similar. Okay, I see your logic there. Danny, you went for shoe. One of my interesting facts about myself I always use is that I've got size 16 feet, so I just thought, well, if there's one of those going to be my lucky, lucky charm, it's going to be shoe. Right, let's see if it's lucky. The correct answer is... It's a hat, so it's unlucky for you, yep. and you're size 16 feet. And you know what that means? We talked about this, didn't we? We did indeed, Sean. <laughs> I'm sorry to disappoint you. You really have disappointed me. Move the bar. OK, you're in a difficult position now, Danny. I am. Got to be good, got to be quick, got to be right. And you need these guys to get things wrong. They'll do that, that's fine. Confidence <laughs> speak. <laughs> 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 Possibly misplaced. <laughs> Next question. Which of these is the correct answer? Amir Khan, Ronnie O'Sullivan, or Johnny Wilkinson? Start the bars. We were looking for which sportsman is known as the Rocket. Here's what you locked in. All agreements with Ronnie O'Sullivan. Do you play snooker, Donna? No, but I like watching it, and he was fast, hence the name. Jeremy? Yeah, absolutely. Uh, fastest in the business. Here's the correct answer. Ronnie O'Sullivan is the answer. Uh, Super champion Ronnie earned the nickname due to his rapid fire play. So all your bars remain in the same place. Let's move on to the next question. Which of these is the correct answer? Corinthians, Job, or Lou? Start the bars. You're all locked in. We were looking for which of these biblical scriptures is in the Old Testament. This is what you chose. Jeremy, Corinthians. Uh, my knowledge of the Bible is as good as Shakespeare. <laughs> uh, the other two aren't in agreement. Donna, do you read your Bible? Uh, no, I did have Corinthians, a passage read from Corinthians at my wedding, um, but Job, I think, sounds a lot older. Danny, does Job sound old? Job is the most Old Testament book there is. So you're pretty yeah. confident about I'm that? I'm very confident, yes. You need to be. Yeah, I do. You've been confident before and you've been wrong before. I'm confident this time. If I'm wrong this time, then I, again, I'm sorry to just be a, a continual disappointment to you, Sean, but, <laughs> but I'm feeling good about this one. The correct answer is... coming up, right after the break. <laughs> Welcome back to Rebound, where Jeremy, Donna and Danny are fighting it out for the chance to play for thousands of pounds. Before the break, we were looking for which of these biblical scriptures featured in the Old Testament. Corinthians, Job or Luke? This is pretty critical for you, Danny. You seemed pretty sure when you said Job. The correct answer is... It is Job. That means you're safe this time, Danny. And you, Donna. But Jeremy, this isn't good for you. No. We're going to have to move the bar. It's changed things a bit, hasn't it? It has. Tight now. You look a bit miserable. Donna, you look very happy. happy about that. <laughs> uh, it's almost neck and neck. But Danny, you're still in a lot of trouble. You need to get some right answers. Don't count me out yet. Next question. Which of these is the correct answer? South Africa, Germany or Kenya? Start the bars. <laughs> <laughs> Jeremy, this doesn't sound good. Uh, we were looking for which is the location of the Kruger <laughs> National Park. What did you lock in? You locked in Kenya, so did Donna. Both shaking your head. <laughs> have you been there? Yes. No, no. <laughs> Donna, you've been there. I have. <laughs> Danny? I, I thought the moment after I pressed it that it was in South Africa. So I, I, might, I might be going home. <laughs> we'll be able to afford the trip there to find out. You can't afford to be making errors like this, can I, you? I know, I'm sorry, Sean. Well, we don't know it's an error yet. Let's reveal the answer. It is an error. It's South Africa. And you chose Germany. I, d I, d I d The money at stake is not a laughing matter. Whoever wins it will be very happy. But if you lose it, you see it slipping through your fingers. It's pretty devastating. And Danny, at the moment, is slipping yeah. right through your fingers. It is. All of you, we're going to have to move the bars. Danny, you're out of the game. You've been beaten by the bar. Thank you, Sean. So, Donna and Jeremy, it's between you two for a place in the final. And it's pretty close. <laughs> it's very close. Are you ready for the next one? This will ever be. Which of these is the correct answer? 
Territorial, sartorial, olfactorial. Start the bars. Took your time locking in, remember? Valuable time on the runway lost. We were looking for which adjective specifically relates to tailoring, especially in men's clothing. This is what you locked in. Both in agreement. Sartorial, Donna? Yeah, I did um, some an element of tailoring. I did dress the light clothing as a diploma. You're a sartorial man, Jeremy. Clearly, obviously. Uh, yeah, yeah I, I think that's the right answer. I think so. The correct answer is, it is sartorial. You're safe for the time being. Next question. Rib, femur, or coccyx? Start the bar. Oh, Donna, you took your time. I don't even understand that one. <laughs> we were looking for what type of bone features on the skull and crossbones. Oh, of course. No. It's not looking good. Wrong answer. <laughs> it's bye-bye. You've already waved. But let's see yes. what you locked in. You've gone for coccyx. Just to hit the button. <laughs> Can you see a coccyx on the skull and crossbow? No, not now. <laughs> <laughs> let's see what the correct answer is. It's a femur. Hold on, Jeremy, you're safe. Donna, this is going to be painful, it but is. we're going to have to do it. Move the bar. Donna, you're out of time. You're going home. You've been beaten by the bar. Which means, Jeremy, you're in our rebound final. Yes! Congratulations, and you also steal Donna and Danny's money, which means you'll be playing for a prize of... £7,598. It's an amazing, amazing amount of money. What would you do with it? Um, I'd like to take, I have a nice big holiday, uh, go and see penguins in the wild uh, in, in Antarctic. Wonderful. And you can take a few friends for that? Yeah, definitely. Have a nice big party with that as well. Well, good luck, Jeremy. We're all rooting for you. Let's find out if he can beat the bar. Now, Jeremy, there are 15 steps between you and the finish line. Jeremy needs to reach that finish line before the bar rebounds back and catches him. With every correct answer, Jeremy moves one step closer to victory, and that's £7,598. But the bar is determined to hunt him down, and if it reaches him at any time, it's game over, and he goes home with nothing. Is that clear? Yes. Let's reveal today's categories. History, sport, science and nature, music, world affairs, or food and drink. Jeremy, you have to play three categories. To move along the runway, you'll need to answer five questions from each category you choose. So, Jeremy, which one are you going to go for first? Uh, well, this won't surprise people. I'm going to go food and drink. Why? You like your food? You like yeah, your drink? Yeah, a little bit. <laughs> Oh, well, let's see how good you are with it. The bar will start moving once I've read the first question. It will only freeze once you've given me five correct answers. Are you ready? Absolutely. Good luck. Which spice is obtained from the crocus? Pass. Okra is popularly known as ladies' fingers. What? Wiener schnitzel is a traditional dish from which country? Austria. In which French region are claret wines mainly produced? France. Roquefort cheese is traditionally made using the milk of which animal? Sheep. What is the main nutty flavour of marzipan? Almond. Red Cena is a wine originating from which country? Greece. Wow, Jeremy. That's pretty good. Okay. Look where the bar is. It's good. It's That's not good. gone that far. It's got to go all the way there and bounce back. But when it bounces back, it becomes a sea of red mm -hmm. and the pressure starts to mount. Yep. You got a couple wrong there. Saffron is the spice obtained from crocus. Bordeaux is the region where claret is made, not France. Yeah. But you're okay? Doesn't matter? I spent most of last year studying wine. <laughs> I'm not, not going to live that one down. Hey, but you've done the five steps. <laughs> Ten steps. And that prize money stands at the end of it. But the yep. bar is on a mission to hunt you down. Mm -hmm. Let's have a look at the next category. History, sport, science and nature, music or world affairs? I'm going to go sport. Okay. Why is that? Um, I watch quite a lot of sports and uh, I think I should have a good knowledge as well. So is food and drink your best one? Sport your second best? Yep. Yeah, I think so. Okay, you've chosen sports. Good luck. Which racket game became an official Olympic sport in 1988? Badminton. Formula One star Edson Senna was born in which country? Brazil. How high in metres is the tallest Olympic diving board? T uh, 10 metres. Who holds the current men's 400 metre world record? Pass. What is the name of the object that relay runners pass to each other? Baton. Barry Sheen made his name in which sport? Motorcycling. How long in minutes is the period of play in a standard rugby union match? 80. Well done, Jeremy. And look where the bar is. Look over your shoulder. Wow. <laughs> oh. wow. Did you feel it passing through you? Uh, yeah, you, 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 you sense it. You really do sense it. It's weird. You got a couple wrong. Yep. Table tennis. Right. 
table tennis became an official Olympic sport in 1988. Michael Johnson is the current men's 400 meters world record holder, but it doesn't matter, right. he's still in the game, and you're really well placed. Five steps between you and that 7,598 pounds and the Penguins. Yeah, absolutely, absolutely. But this is a tough five steps for yep. you to get through and beat the bar. You need to focus now, and you need to choose the next category. Okay. What's it gonna be? History, science and nature, world affairs or music? It just kind of has to be science and nature, really, doesn't it? Is that your third strongest one? Yeah, I think so. I think so. Okay, good luck. How many sides does a rhombus have? Four. The sum mainly consists of helium and which other gas? Nitrogen. A murmuration is a flock of which birds? Frogs. What colour is the live wire in the sound of UK three pin plug? Uh, green. How many carrots are there in pure gold? 24. Ascorbic acid is also known as vitamin what? The Bengal tiger is native to which continent? Asia. Which part of the body is also known as the mandibule? Uh, 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 cheek. Muntjac, fallow and row are species yeah. of which animal? Who invented the C5 electric car? Sinclair. <laughs> well done, congratulations. You've won £7,598. Pounds. There it is. Get in. Have a good look at it. Oh, well. You're going to see the penguins. I am indeed. Now, you wobbled a little bit on some of those. Mm -hmm. Hydrogen was the other gas on the sun. A murmuration is a flock of starlings. Brown is the colour of the live wire in a standard UK plug. Vitamin C is also known as ascorbic acid. And the lower jaw is what the mandible uh, is also known as. Uh, but you did so well in the first 10 steps and you set yourself up for the victory. This penguin lover has got happy feet. Absolutely. <laughs> <laughs> well done, Jeremy. It's been great watching you. So Jeremy goes away a happy man. That's it for today, but make sure you join us next time when another six contestants battle to beat the bar. See you then. Goodbye.